Question number 29 is you have to integrate i equal to 1 divided by 3 sin x 3 sin x plus 4 cos x look into the denominator the, the denominator can always be written in the form of fundamental law of trigonometry and for this you have to put 3 is equal to r cos theta and 4 is equal to r sin theta where r and theta are polar coordinates which are taught in the analytical geometry this is equation number roman one and mark it as equation number two roman two you can find the values of r and theta from here to find the value of r you have to square and add the equation one and two and by doing so you have three square plus four square is equal to r cos r square cos square theta plus r square sine square theta from here you get r square is equal to 25 by taking the square root you get r square sorry r is equal to plus minus 5 and you have to take only the positive 5 because in the polar coordinates r is always positive You can also find the value of theta from equation 1 and 2. Divide equation 2 by equation 1. You have 4 divided by 3 is equal to r sin theta divided by r cos theta. r gets cancelled with this r. You have tan theta is equal to 4 divided by 3. From where you can get the value of theta to be equal to tan inverse 4 divided by 3. Now we will make these simple substitutions in the given integral so that the given integral becomes 1 divided by instead of 3 you have to put r cos theta r cos theta multiplied by sin x plus 4 cos x that is r sin theta cos x dx has to remain as it is take r as common from the denominator and by using the fundamental law of trigonometry you have sin x plus theta the fundamental law of trigonometry states that sin x plus y whenever the sine function is applied on the sum of x and y you have sin x cos y plus cos x sin y this formula is used here the value of r that we have found is 5 and since it is constant therefore it needs to be taken out of the integral and you have cosecant x plus theta d theta sorry dx from the tables of integral you have 1 divided by 5 natural log of if you evaluate the integral of cosecant theta it is equal to natural log of cosecant theta and instead of theta here is x plus theta minus cot theta again x plus theta plus the constant of integration this can be reduced if we note here that cosecant theta minus cot theta is equal to 1 divided by sin theta minus cos divided by cos theta divided by sin theta by collecting the denominators you have 1 minus cos theta divided by sin theta by applying the half half angle identities that we have 
used a number of times we have 1 minus 2 sine square theta by 2 and in the denominator you can write 2 sine theta divided by 2 cos theta divided by 2 and this simply reduces to, to 1 gets cancelled with 1 you have in the numerator 2 sine square theta where 2 gets cancelled with 2 and sine square theta gets cancelled with sine theta you have sine theta divided by 2 divided by cos theta divided by 2 that is tan theta divided by 2 so by using uh, this explanation we have the integral i equal to 1 divided by 5 natural log of tan x plus theta divided by 2 plus constant of integration in the next step we have 1 divided by 5 natural log of absolute value of tan x divided by 2 plus theta divided by 2 1 by 2 theta and instead of theta we have already found the value of theta to be equal to tan inverse 4 divided by 3 and here you will write 1 divided by 2 tan inverse 4 divided by 3 and this is the answer of this integral we can also solve the next question which is also simple and we will solve this question on the next page In this question you have to integrate this is question number 30 and in this question you have to integrate i equal to tan x divided by cos x plus secant x tan x divided by cos x plus secant x dx this is equal to sin x divide by cos x plus 1 divide by cos x and here it is also cos x <clears throat> from here you have sin x divided by cos x if you take cos x as common you have or you apply the LCM you have cos square x plus 1 divided by cos x dx this cos x gets cancelled with this cos x and you are left with only sin x divided by cos square x plus 1 now this is very simple integral and this can be solved by substitution of t is equal to cos x so that dt is equal to minus sin x dx and the negative sign can be shifted to the other side so that your integral is minus dt divide by t square plus 1 and everyone knows that this is the integral of tan inverse t put the value of t here you have the answer so minus tan inverse instead of t we have cos x so this is your answer let me check it
Yes, this is the correct answer. Similarly, we can solve the question number 31, which is also of the same kind. In this question, you have to integrate <coughs> 1 divided by sine x minus a multiplied by sine x minus b. This is a little bit a trickier question. All the first, you have to multiply and divide by sine a minus b and multiply it in inside. Why it is done? Uh, you will understand this uh, after a few steps. sin x minus a sin x minus b dx <coughs> note that sin a minus b is constant because a and b are constants therefore sin a minus b is also constant therefore uh, uh, we have taken it out of the integral and inside sine a minus b can be written as x minus x plus a minus b that is you have just added and subtracted the variable x sine x minus a multiplied by sine x minus b Now you can write it also as integral of sine x minus a uh, and to write this uh, to write it in this form you have to all the first rearrange the terms x plus a sorry not x plus a collect the last and the first term that is x minus b and take the common between uh, take the minus sign as common between x and a that are the middle terms if you take the sign of minus as common then you have x minus a so hopefully you have understood this step sin x minus a sin x minus b dx now apply the funda fundamental law of trigonometry in the numerator you may get 1 divided by sin a minus b integration of apply the fundamental law sin x minus b cos x minus a <coughs> minus sin sorry minus cos x minus b sin x minus a divided by sin x minus a multiplied by sin x minus b and there is also a dx here 
in this step you will understand that why did we multiply it with 